So yeah, I just don't think they're going to Digivolve. Uh, according to a lot of advice that you've all given me, and thank you very much, uh, Wikimon, who I'm pretty sure now just lifts all their data from with the Wills stuff on File Island, everything, the information is listed very counterintuitively. If you look over here, it says, perfect conditions met. And then over here on Champion, yesterday I was like, oh, maybe I was supposed to do 25 plus training to get the ultimate form. And so today I trained a butt ton. I did like 20 some odd sessions and uh, I was like, okay, okay, you guys go ahead. It's it's time to evolve now, you guys. But then the more comments I read, the more I was like, no, this can't be right. There must have been something. So if you go all the way down to the bottom, especially on Wikimon where I was looking, it, down here it says references. W when I see the word references, I'm like, oh yeah, trivia, no thanks. But no, it, w it actually had conditions down there that said I was supposed to do like 20 battles and 20 plus event connections. And then yeah, over on With the Will on File Island, you can see that they say the same thing, except it's actually under other, which would have been a way better term to use. But even then, like, why put that all the way down at the bottom? I don't know, I can just sit here making excuses about it all day. But the, the, the fact of the matter is, they're not going to Digivolve. I failed, and I, I'm very upset about it. Like, I don't, like, I don't do this. I don't fail at Digital Pets, dang it. Come on, that's like the one thing I'm supposed to be decent at. Ugh. So yeah, what can one do? Apparently, uh, I was supposed to be training and then having them fight a lot. And I mean, we've done like 17 battles, but the thing is, we only have these two to play against each other. And then if you have 40% win ratio with 20 battles, you have a small chance of Digivolving. 50, a bigger chance. And then as it goes on and on, you have a much better chance to Digivolve. And they continue to say chance, which upsets me because that means that no matter how hard you try, you might fail. And I get that that's realistic, I get that that's that's life for some people, but it's not what I want in my digital pets, okay? I escaped these things so that way I don't have to deal with life's failings, you know? And apparently the event with Clockmon is supposed to make it to where your Digimon will Digivolve immediately as long as they fulfill the requirements. So, does that just mean that it's now impossible? Or does it mean that if we go over here and then we can... We, we finish, right? We finish getting up like the last three battles and then we get Clockmon in an event. Will he make them Digivolve? That's our last hope, and let's go ahead and explore that option. Round one. I haven't been able to get any of them to, like, to, to stun again recently, and uh, someone in the comments was like, hey, try hitting A to like snap them out of it. Um, I I did, and I don't think it was working. I think when they're stunned, that's just like, it's the thing in video games where they're like, they're shining, they've got a yellow outline around them now, quick, go tap R3 and you'll do a super cool finisher move. Like, I think it's just that, and I think it's just to build that sense of dread, because you know the hit's coming. Geo Greymon goes down. Round two. Oh, Galgamon's taking a hit. Greymon just looks in the other direction like he don't give a crap. I'm sorry, Geo Greymon. The one with abs. Have you ever se seriously look it up? Geo Greymon is like fit, whereas Greymon's got like this crazy paunch going on. But nah, Geo Greymon's the hot one. And he wins! Okay, one more battle to go. I don't have to tell you who's the who the contenders are because, well, it's just still Gal Galgamon and Geo Greymon. It's a lot of guzz. Sorry, I'm in a weird mood. I'm just like so upset. Oh, look at you. Okay, mash the A button. You've got to snap out of it, ding dong. <gasps> oh, they can snap out of it. They were right. They were correct. Oh, but it still wasn't enough. Okay, you might need to press it like way faster to snap out of stun. That's weird though. So it's like if one of the Digimon gets a higher chance of Digivolving, one of them's going to get a lower chance. So like I said, no matter what you do, your Digimon are going to just like not succeed sometimes. So both of them have supposedly with this ratio, a small chance to Digivolve. Now let's just try to like spam events and see if we can get something going with Clockmon. Oh, you're sick, of course. Yeah, no, you, you didn't tell me. I was supposed to like magically just know, wasn't I? A bunch of punching bags. How quaint. Uh, do another one, please. We got to do like 50 of these things. Well, not 50, but like a lot. Something slowly, you know, shockingly equivalent. Okay, so yeah, Geo Greymon is just like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, here I go to evolve. And then they don't show the screen where he's filled with disappointment at the promises that life gave him that fell through. Punching background two, or it's a giant gummy bear. I don't know, just take your pick. Oh, how quaint, they eat together again. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Hey, that's a different thing. That's a little apple. How about that? <laughs> God. <laughs> We're getting so many clockmons and bombs. Oh, I thought for sure you, Galgamon. I thought for sure. Okay, I'm just gonna like try to press buttons. You want Digivolve my Galgamon? You want to send him into the future? Maybe he has sent them into the future. He hasn't been turning their lives back. He's been pushing them forward. They're like the oldest Galgamon and Geo Greymon in the world now. Oh, okay. So apparently this isn't Holy Dramon. That's Keenlongmon. Uh, I'm very sorry to the the grand deity Keenlongmon. 
Uh, he's just giving us another egg. You know, even though we didn't ask for it, that's cool. It's weird, too, because, like, other than the, you know, the actual battle numbers, we've been doing a lot of events. I'm already pretty confident that we've hit the requirements for the events, but nope. Okay, you're in, you're hurt. Nope. Oh, boy. King Long Mong again. Nope. <sighs> that's kind of weird. Uh, do you think he just didn't go back to King Long Mon land? He just kind of like stuck around or maybe they were both like hey Let's go get some taquitos from 7-eleven and King Long Mon was there too, and he was like, oh Yes, here uh, little boys you may have a mystic egg because he's like super important He actually doesn't recognize that he just gave these two an egg And so they just have to like pretend to be grateful or else they incur the wrath of the great King Long Mon This is pretty much it. I've already done like 50 events and so if there's no Digivolution here, they are 100% unsavable. You two are just going to be forever champions. Forever, forever champions. That's, that's, that's a thing now. It's like being a never nude, except with not Digivolving. <sighs> so that's the situation we're in. They're just not going to Digivolve. I also don't know how to use items. I don't know if that's a thing. I did learn I can hold this down to show the time, but like, it doesn't really do anything else. Someone was saying like, you know, use the other item. Hey, bomb and clock. What? Where did those items come from? Normally these things are proteins. Blech. I swear I've never seen these before. Have I just not been paying attention this entire time? <gasps> That's so weird. Why are you able to just bomb yourself over and over again? Geogramon. Geogra <laughs> Geogramon. <laughs> Why does Galgamon get this but Geogramon gets that? It's messed up. What is happening? Ah! This digital pet is just a mess. So does that actually lower your hunger? Like, oh yeah, that just tanked your hunger. All right, here, eat a bunch of meat. I mean, hey, it's, it's not such a bad life. Get exploded, eat a bunch more meat. There are worse ways to live. You could suck at digital pets. I'm sorry, that's negative. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to be negative right now. I'm just so upset. I just wanted a different Digivolution. I wanted to see them grow. I, I think we'll just have to let them die because I don't want to reset them. I think that might reset the entire thing. I think we just need to let him kind of like sit there and send them to the retirement home for forever champion Digimon. Nishi and Higa. I mean, their name will still be Nishi and Higa if we run the event eggs, but I'd like to do that, okay? I'd like I'd like to run it. I don't I almost want to be like, let's just do another digital pet because this one is not it's not clicking with me. It's so tricky and weird and like it's obtuse. It's so obtuse. Partially, it's not really its fault. It's partially Wikimon and the, with the Will's weird way of like layering the information. It's very out of order, but it's also my fault for not just reading the entire page in its entirety like I should have. I'm always bagging on people for not having attention spans these days, and then I don't even go and read the instructions fully for the thing I'm running on a channel where people want to see stuff happen. So I guess I deserve this. So John Ryan White, they made a suggestion for a drawing. It said, draw you and Lily blowing a whistle trying to encourage uh, your Digimon training. So I think we're going to draw Geo Greymon struggling to get better at stuff, even though he's never going to Digivolve. Because, you know, he's the hot one. So we gotta, we gotta draw the hot one. This will be drawn with a zero one. I'm going to have Takochi accompany us today because I need to, you know, move this thing over here so you can see what I'm drawing. Here, cover, cover that ugly recycling symbol. If they want people to recycle, they should really redesign it. You know, maybe replace it with like a Moe anime girl. That'd probably get them a little further than where they are now. So Geo Greymon, straining to train, probably having hopes of Digivolving, which are never going to come true, and then Kakujo and then Lily over here, blowing whistles to encourage them. So let's begin. Ugh, I'm just angry. I'm just frustrated. I don't even know what it is. I don't know what this emotion is, but I guess it's just what, disappointment. Oh, look at him struggling. Look at him trying his best and hoping for the best for the future. What an idiot. You know, as much as I always dread drawing stuff like this, because it just seems complicated, it's actually not that bad. Like, it's just... Don't think about it too much. Also, try not to talk while you're drawing. I'm probably going to mess up any second now. Here comes the hip and pelvic region. I do love drawing leg muscles. I, maybe it's because, like, I aspire to have them, you know, one of these days. And then, this isn't really normally part of his, like, design, but, like, we're obviously going to give him abs because, you know, he's the hot one. All right, let's hatch in the rings. Any area where there's red, we're going to hatch. And before we get started on Kako, Joe, and Lily, that way it has plenty of time to dry. Whistles always seem fun to draw until you realize, like, the actual 3D shape of it. Luckily, I have gained the expertise and experience from years of trying and failing to draw whistles. Oh, dear. I've gone and misplaced my brush. It's cool. It's fine. It'll probably turn up. Uh, and when it does, I will once again 
never let it go, and I guess today we're just going to use the graphic, uh, marker instead of a brush. It's gonna take a bit longer to fill in, but we will have slightly more control over what we draw, so I guess that's good. Oh yeah, this hasn't been taken a thousand years. That jump cut that we just did, it was- it's because it was so fast what just happened. Lastly, that shirt that I'm never gonna actually make, maybe? I, I, that I, I mean, I should, but I'm, I'm, I just haven't done it yet. There! Okay. John Ryan White, thank you for the suggestion. And what am I gonna do with these digital pets now? What am I- Oh yeah, I never erased the pencil lines. Here, let's go ahead and make that nice and pretty. Hopefully the graphic marker, rather than the brush, isn't, you know, any less runny or anything. Okay, so far so good, though. <laughs> I kept thinking these were eraser snakes, but they're, they're lines. <laughs> okay, now for real. I'm going to not take care of them anymore. I'm gonna let them pass. Uh, if they're not done, Getting that over with for tomorrow? I don't know. I suppose we could still do a video just to chat. But if they do pass, we'll definitely begin with the event egg. Um, assuming that that's just how they'll let us use it? I don't know. If it's not, let me know, because th this thing is crazy. This thing is weird. To all of you supporting me on Patreon, thank you so much. Especially Cookie Face and Shifter and Zombie Eater. But really, you're all helping me out a lot. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!